pick and rolls and playing them smart. Jordan fade away. Could you imagine Michael Jordan taking on Alonzo Mourning in downtown Norfolk? Tomorrow, city manager Regina Williams will explain how the city can build a $200 million arena with the state sending back tax money to pay the mortgage, or at least 85% of it. Because this is the beautiful part about this. The NBA, if you will, will be paying for this world-class 18,500-seat state-of-the-art facility because we will be able to impose income taxes on the players. All the taxes generated at the site will be passed through to pay off the bonds. So the state collects the taxes, sends it back to the city to pay off the arena debt, and this lot between Scope and MacArthur Center becomes a state-of-the-art arena. The city's share comes from a hike in the restaurant and hotel tax. I talked with Mayor Frame today. Can we support an NBA team? There's enough statistical evidence out there to say we have enough effective buying power here to support a major league franchise. But, but what about that, Hornets owner George Shin? Some think he's playing us to get a better deal somewhere else. It's what every company does when looking to relocate. But Mayor Frame feels if Norfolk offers the best opportunity. You know, the dance goes on with a lot of communities. When the dance is over, they've got to go home with somebody. And that, the dance is going to be over pretty soon, I think. So I think we'll know something. Uh, you know, by the end of December. The financial plan is done. The Norfolk City Council is behind it. The citizens seem to be okay with it. And area business and political leaders are on board. Exciting times? Exciting is probably premature just yet because we still don't have a naming rights deal. Ah, the naming rights deal. So who will put up 60 to 80 million dollars to put their name on the front of Norfolk's new arena? There are companies from the state of Virginia that are interested in this project. There are companies that are headquartered here that are currently evaluating the naming rights initiatives. And there are companies outside Virginia that are currently evaluating the naming rights initiative. Former Commerce Secretary Barry Duvall has been appointed top salesman for this project. What's the hook? The first is they have an opportunity to brand their company. And you see the name of the company. So the name of the company is making an impression upon the viewer. Second, it's uh, an opportunity to build business relationships. Companies often, along with naming rights, will have a number of tickets available to them for each game. And there are other ways the arena team hopes to get revenue. Which company will pour the soft drinks? What company will pour other beverages, what company will provide the food service. Uh, those are sponsor opportunities. Out of six potential naming rights sponsors, it's believed Duval is concentrating on two. Mayor Frame has said if one is signed, he would expect Norfolk to automatically become the Hornets' top choice. He would like to have the deal done next week. As for Mr. Duval, I would love to have a Christmas package wrapped in the bow with the entire arena financing plan, including the naming rights put into place by Christmas.